Hello, Mr. Letterer here. If this was a real emergency, that would be very dangerous. We don't want any panic. We want to be calm and collected when there's an emergency. Geologists have stated that eventually we're likely to face a massive earthquake. This earthquake is very likely to happen within our lifetime. Cascadia subduction zone running from Vancouver Island to Northern California is one of the most volatile in the world. And it's extremely dangerous. The Cascadia fault line has the potential of releasing megaquakes in the magnitude 9 range. This is the size of the Sumatra quake that killed over 250,000 people, mostly from the tsunamis it triggered. Because we don't get those little ground tremors from time to time like LA does, we forget we live in earthquake country. That only means that the stress of the fault lines continues to build and build. We also have to remember there are many other threats that could leave our school incapacitated and unsafe to re-enter. Flooding, fire are just two of them. On May 6, all secondary schools in the Coquitlam School District are going to do a trial run of the emergency release process. That's true. And then when this is all... Whoa. Whoa. Did you feel that? Yeah. We want to make sure that parents know we're prepared for a major catastrophe in the school district. We have a great plan in place to get students out of the school safely and to release them safely. And we want parents to make sure that they understand what that plan is. So let's review the steps that we're going to take if we release during an emergency. Everybody get down under the desk, please. Step number one, students and teachers take cover under desks for 60 seconds and they count. Four, Man, what are you five, doing? I'm putting six, earthquake on my Facebook seven. status. Students proceed in a calm and orderly fashion to the field with their classroom teacher. Attendance is then taken by each classroom teacher. Okay, student number two. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So far, it's been exactly as we drilled during fire and earthquake drills. Now, here's where things go a little bit differently. Our field will be divided up as follows. Students move from their classroom attendance lines to their release stations according to their alpha group. But where do I go? It's by alphabetical order according to your last name. Mm-hmm. Parents and other designated emergency contacts can start to arrive at 2 p.m. to pick up students. Since all school driveways and parking lots will be closed to traffic, parents are encouraged to walk to the artificial turf. Should this be impractical, they will need to find alternate locations to park. On arrival, parents and other emergency contacts will be directed to the artificial field. This way, ma'am. Please note that only people on the designated forms that teachers will have with their alpha groups are allowed to pick up students. Students cannot release themselves, nor can other students come pick up other students. Okay, Mr. Hasselhoff, here you go. Have a good day. Thank you. Let's get out of here. Who, uh, um, who are you here for? I'm here to pick up my son, Benjamin Howell III. Uh, yeah. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Come on, Hi, Junior. Mom. Well, that's it, folks. Now, remember, May 6th, every school in the district at the secondary level is going to practice the student release. 2 p.m., we expect parents to be here or emergency contacts to pick up their students. Students are going to be here till 3 o'clock before they're dismissed if they're not picked up by then. Now remember, safety doesn't happen by accident. Please help out.